Welcome back, folks. We are over here on location live at the Breckridge Distillery, and which happens to be on Airport Road, which actually runs right on down to where the Breckridge Rec Center is as well. We've got Nick here that just joined us. And, you know, it's that time of year where we've had a lot of really cold days. A lot of people need a break from the mountain. They're trying to get back into their fitness routine. And you guys have so much going on indoors at the Rec Center, but also a lot of other events that people don't realize you guys also kind of collaborate with. And I know we've got uh, a few different events coming up, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we actually have, um, so this week our race got postponed on Wednesday, the uphill access race. So um, that got moved till next week. So peak 10 will be next week on Wednesday in the afternoon. Um, you can sign up online or at the front desk or just give us a call. Um, you can use uh, a split board, um, ski mountaineering skis or backcountry skis to get up the mountain. And uh, it's always a good way to, to end the day. Um, and then the end of the month, we also have a race on peak seven mm -hmm. um, at the, in the evening on Wednesday. So we have two races left. And this is all part of the Ascent series, right? Yep. And the whole series ends on the end of March. Um, and this will be the last two races. So it'll be a good way to end the season. Now, I've heard also there's a little perk for people that are competing in multiple Ascent series, right? You get kind of, a, I think, a prize if you compete in all of them, right? You can do more than one or just one, right? Well, we do have weekly prizes. <laughs> yeah. um, we raffle off every week um, afterwards. Okay. And then uh, at the end of the Ascent series, if you signed up for the next two races, then you can be entered in to win two pairs of skis. So we have two different ones, um, which is pretty awesome. So get you ready for next year. Kind of a nice little incentive to get everyone to, you know, compete in maybe more than one. <laughs> yeah, and they're like really nice light little skis for the racing, so it works out really well. Perfect. Now, if that sounds like, you know, not your cup of tea, you want then maybe another event, maybe you're more into the summer biking. They also have winter options for biking, too. you got the fat bikes going on. Yeah, the Nordic Center has a great fleet of Borealis uh, fat tire bikes. And they're actually running um, a couple fat bike tours uh, coming up, um, and they can access that on the website, um, breckridgerecreation.com, and then go to the Nordic Center for that. Uh, even with you being with the Rec Center, you guys also work directly with the Nordic Center as well as the Ice Arena, mm -hmm. and you guys kind of all coordinate these events together. So um, if people want to do tours or find out more about fat biking, those are the folks that can kind of get them started with it. Yeah, you can either call the front desk at the Nordic Center um, or the front desk at the Rec Center, and we have all the information there for everyone. So that works out really well. And I believe they offer rentals for snowshoes and cross-country skiing as well, right? Yeah, full fleet of um, snowshoes, skate um, cross-country skiing, as well as traditional. Awesome. So definitely stop on up there. I mean, we've got just great snow conditions, so winter is not over yet, and we have all these winter activities still going on. Absolutely. And if you do want a break from the, the winter activities, we do have the rec center, um, nice and warm inside, um, all the our cardio equipment, weight equipment, um, full pool with a slide for the little kids. So. And the fitness classes are just great. You guys really have grown the fitness schedule drastically mm -hmm. since the remodel or the renovation. Um, and we've got all these new rooms that offer classes, too. I like to stop in there occasionally. <laughs> yeah, Kelly's done a great job of growing that program. Um, over the weekend, we have yoga and cycling on Saturday mornings and body pump. And then on Sunday morning, just body pump and yoga. So lots of different options going into this weekend, and it's going to be a great weekend. we got sunshine out, and it's going to be a great time to get outdoors and then check out any of these events coming up. And a reminder of the website and location in case people want to stop on in or find out more info. Yeah, BreckridgeRecreation.com, and you can view everything from there. We have the ice rink on there, the rec center, as well as the Nordic Center. And then the rec center is located on 880 Airport Road, just up the street from the distillery. So... Once you get a workout in, it's a good idea to come down to the distillery. Yeah, do the workout first and then come here, not the other way around, right? Yeah, absolutely. It works out a little better. <laughs> All right, you guys, we'll stick around. We still have more to come. We've got great things happening over at the studio as well as our watch and win. And, you know, speaking of the rec center and the distillery, our prizes happen to be today related to both those things. We're going to throw in a gift card to the Breckenridge Distillery as well as a punch pass to the Breck Rec Center. So double the prizes today for both those spots. So stick around. We will be doing that watch and win trivia question in a little bit.